launching Skyfire takes a couple seconds. It's connecting through Wi Fi. And here's the start page. You see a row of icons at the top. They're unlabeled, so we don't really know what they do. At the bottom right, we see a menu. If you tap that, we get a menu. With some options. Let's try clicking on one of these websites. Did that work? We don't know. Seems to be doing something. Not really. It's no stop button. Also note, there's no start menu, so I can't multitask. There's no minimize button, so I can't close this and go to another program. There's no clock, there's no connection status, so I don't even know if I'm connected. Um, there's no volume control. If I press buttons, hardware buttons, start menu doesn't work, OK button doesn't work, power button doesn't work, and uh, this seems to be stuck. Now it's loading something. There we go. You can see the whole page is zoomed out and it's impossible to read any of these things. Um, let's go to... However, YouTube does work. My audio must be off, but you can see the video is playing. Panning doesn't seem to be very good. It's difficult to get the video into view. Maybe if we zoom out. Let's go to a different page. So here's another feature that should be turned on by default and doesn't stay on the smart fit option. To do this, it'll reload the page and there we go, it, it re-rags the type into an area that will fit in your zoom. So you can zoom. There we go. So now this is much easier to read. Uh, there's no scroll bar so I can't exactly jump to the bottom of the page or and I can't flick it. I just have to move it manually by panning. You can see it loads the page as pixels so that the panning is quicker and then renders the rest of it as you as the bandwidth allows. Pressing the refresh button actually zooms out all the way. It's kind of a, well, maybe not so quick, <laughs> but an easier way to see the whole page again.
entering addresses, you type, you press this button, and then you see the address bar down here. And since the lower bar is a non-standard user interface, we have no way of choosing different keyboards. So, say I type something, it doesn't actually put it into the address bar, so that doesn't really work. And there's also no tap and hold menu, so I can't paste the URL here, I can't copy the URL, there's, so it's kind of limited in what you can do with this. There's also an option to drag controls. Now I just turned that on, but you didn't see anything happen. So when I drag, this toolbar comes up. If I select the arrow, now my dragging will select text. But still, there's no tap and hold button, there's nothing I can do with it. There's no copy, there's no paste, so nothing I can do. That button collapses the menus, so you can see the whole page without any administrative debris. However, I would kind of prefer some debris user interface elements that I can switch applications with. Because right now, I can't multitask. Well, I guess that's all.